hands-on, pairing over numeric comparison. Pairing over numeric comparison is very user-friendly because it requires the user only to check that the number displayed on both devices is the same. The STM32WB will indicate during pairing feature exchange that it supports display and some means to either confirm or reject that the number is the same. This could be as simple as, as a button, for example. In CubeMX, we need to change the I.O. capability to display and yes-no, and we can keep the man and middle protection as required. CubeMX already generates the event handler for the numeric comparison value, which is generated by the BLE stack on each pairing. As you can see, the six-digit number is outputted over the UR's traces. The only thing we will change is the format of this number, so it's displayed in decimal and the format is the same as on the phone. The default is a hex. After this you see the call to ACI gap numeric comparison value confirm yes no. And as you can see the value is confirmed by default. So normally you would display the number on the WB side and wait for the user interaction. But for simplicity we'll keep the confirmation by default. So let's go to the BLE middleware and let's set the IO capabilities to display and yes no. And we can regenerate the project. And here in the appble.c on line 508 we can see the event handler for the numeric comparison value. So here the value is outputted over the traces, so let's just change this format of the number to decimal. And the value will be confirmed by default without any user interaction. So we can compile the code and load it into the device. So now we open the STBLE toolbox, connect to our device and try to read the characteristic. A pairing message pops out. You see the numbers is really the same, 751 592. So I confirm it on the Android side. It's confirmed by default by the application on WB side and the pairing succeeds and the value is read. And this is the end of the hands-on.